Hi, welcome to this uh, installer. Arco Linux installer is actually the Calamaris installer from Manjaro. Now this video is not going to be about the installation of Arco Linux. The thing is, we need um, to improve and to give information to the Calamaris guys. We are determined to make Calamaris the best installer there is. And we've done already in the past, we've given already feedback, look we have this error and a few weeks later everything is fixed. The only thing these guys need is technical information. So let's assume that your installer on your hardware is not working. What do we need to do? What do you need to do? What do you need to give to these uh, guys? So not to us. Well, we are intermediary. We have a forum and we have a specific Calamaris forum and we're gonna keep everything there that is concerning uh, errors about the installer. So when things go wrong, what do you do? You can press Ctrl Alt T and then you get this uh, terminal and you can actually boot Calamaris from here as well. But since I'm still in QWERTY, I'm gonna say that I have a Belgium keyboard. So I have Azerty again. That's not for everybody. Then, like I said, Calamaris <coughs> has some help, I suppose. Like every application, it has help. And there is a an, an big D, a capital D, a small D. Um, so it's a, to debug. That's what we need. That's what they need to analyze what's going on with your Calamaris installer. They also need, of course, versions. I suppose if you run the version, if you run the application, now, do try it with sudo, since it wants, of course, to be administrator, minus D. And then you see all these things pop up. Never mind the coloring, it's now changed because of that. But um, this is what they need. So if something goes wrong, it will show up in this uh, terminal. So the only thing we need to do is get this thing out there and copy paste it to pastebin.com for instance from out this live environment put it on there and then later you can reference it into forum look this is what i got this is my problem and somewhere down there there will be these error messages and hopefully they can improve calamaris which i'm sure of so all this information uh, let's see if they have a version in here mm -hmm. so here the line starts and version, version, version. Don't see a version number here. I suppose we can find it out the other way. Did we, can we, with a V, yep. So, if we type V, they want to know that as well, 3.2.0.5. So they can look at their GitHub at that point in time and see what files are, are, are wrong or what variables are, are wrong, etc. etc. Don't forget, um, it's a, a pro, a, an installer like this is never finished. One, two, everything is in motion. Uh, the things that it depends upon, all the packages are in motion, everything is upgraded and, and developed. So there are always, there are always um, variables that we cannot control 100%. So let's help them. That's my message to you. Let's help them. Let's give, us, let's give them information. They want a version and they want the debugging. And if you can post that on the forum, then we, we will make, uh, Arc Linux will make a GitHub. Uh, issue or topic and they'll have this reference to our forum because they might ask more information that has happened in the past with this hardware clock issue so the people interact without me anymore uh, interact in the forum please can you explain this please can you do that please can you do this we want to know information like that so it's gonna be a technical uh, journey which in which you learn a lot of course and um, I can only encourage you to take the time, give them the information so that hundreds, millions of people can uh, get an improved version of Calamaris because that's the goal to get better, right? More efficient. All right, cheers.